right, so today we're going to take it down a little bit and just kind of talk about the difference between some of our features on Cricut Design Space, specifically grouping, attaching, and welding, and when you use each of these um, features. So to start off, I'm just going to put some sharp shapes in here. So we'll get a circle, a diamond, a triangle, a hexagon. All right. And so a couple of things that you can do that make things really easy. If I want all of these to kind of stay in the same proportion to each other, if I left click, drag my box all the way around all of them, I can just make the whole thing smaller instead of doing them one at a time and then maybe them not staying in the same proportion to each other. So, for example, if I change just this one, that would just change that and now I've changed the proportion of these shapes to each other. Since for this purpose it doesn't really matter, we're just playing around with them, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to change the color of each of these shapes. So let's make one red, we'll make one blue, and I'm doing that by clicking them here on the layers panel and clicking this little circle right here. That's the color. So let's make one pink. And let's go ahead and make this last one yellow. Okay, so they're all different colors and this is gonna be important for kind of teaching you what the difference is between these different features that we're talking about. So right now I'm gonna take this, and if you remember, when I click this, I can move them, they're all separate now, right? I can move them around, I can move each one individually of each other, but let's say I'm gonna make a bigger project than this and I want these guys to stay together so I can just work around them. I'm going to, again, left click, drag my box, surround all of them, and then I'm gonna hit this group button right here, group. Now, if I go back to click on my hexagon, you see it has created this box and they are all moving together as a single entity. So I can always ungroup and then they'll go back to being separate pieces, okay? So if I group, they're all going to stay together. This is great for moving things around the board and keeping it together if you're trying to add stuff, trying to do some other things. So now I'm going to take this box <clears throat> and I'm going to attach it. Watch what happens. Now they are all the same color. When you attach something, you are basically taking it and now when I go to make it, they're all going to print on the same exact sheet. They're all going to print in the same, I mean cut in the same color. So let's go back. I'm going to undo that. I can detach. All right. Oh, but they're not the same color. So let's change their colors again. They're still grouped, so I can still move them together. I'm going to ungroup them. Let's go ahead and change their colors. All right. So let's give this guy green again and we'll make this guy blue. Okay, so now I'm going to group them again, and let's go to make it. See that? Four different mats, okay? They're all, they're all separate. They're all going to print out on separate mats, mats. So when I attach that, oh, sorry, we're going to cancel that. Yes, I want to cancel the cut, and we're going to go back to our canvas. So when I attach them, as you saw, they're all going to go to the mat together. They're all going to be the same color. <clears throat> so what's the difference between attach and weld? Well, for that, I'm going to ungroup, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of put these guys together so they're on top of each other. Let's go ahead and click them. And actually, you know what? Let's attach this set, and let's weld this set and see what happens. I do want them to go to the same mat, so I'm going to pick the same color. So you can see what happens now. Remember, the top set is attached, the bottom set is welded. You can already see the difference. Now I'm gonna click Make It. So when you go to cut now, your welded set will not have any lines in between. It is just going to cut this outline. It is not gonna cut the triangle and the excess part of the diamond here. But this piece that's attached, this circle is going to cut out and this um, hexagon is going to cut out right on top of it. So that line is still gonna be here. If you want this line to not be there, you're really going to have to, if you want this line to not be there, you're going to have to weld. Welding is really important when it comes to 
connecting text. Welding is also really important if you want to cut something out of paper and you want it all to stick together. So you want to weld it together so it doesn't cut out in separate pieces. So to review, if we group something, and let's throw out a couple more shapes here, they're still going to stay their own separate entities. The colors are not going to change when you group it. When you go to cut, they are still going to cut on different mats. So let's group that. See? Gray, purple. Stayed the same. When you attach it, they are going to be made the same color and they're going to go to the same mat. And then when you weld it, you're not going to have any lines in between. They're going to become one solid shape. If I weld this right now, nothing will happen because they're too far away from each other. But if I was to um, place two shapes on top of each other, so let's go ahead and put these together now. So if I was to now weld this, all becomes one solid shape. You see that? So that's the difference between group, attach, and weld. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck with your projects.